so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to show how you can integrate the sonar lint with your intellij id now first let me tell you what is the sonar lint sonar lint is the one of the sonar solution and this will help us to find the fixes in the coding when a developer is writing the code in the id and if it is that time it will show you some code analysis so it's like a spell checker so if your code is not in the right format and if you are not writing the code as per the rule for the particular languages then it will give you a hint to fix that now how we can integrate the sonar lint with our id project that i'm going to show in so till now we have created the project we have set up the intellij id on your local windows machine we have created the maven project so now we are going to integrate the sonar lint with this id so on my screen you can see we have the settings icon is there okay so when you click on the settings icon you will see the plugin is there click on the plugin and after that under the plugins you will see the search box is there okay when you type the sonar lint you will see the result sonar lint and if you want to install so you need to click on the install so this side it will give you the version 10.11 and sonar lint is why sonar a free id extension to find and fix the coding this is the completely free id extensions it will help us to find and fix the coding issues in the real time and it is paired with the sonar cube or the sonar cloud in the connected mode that we will see so as of now i am going to integrate this one hour with id so you just click on the install so when you click on the install it will ask a third party plugin notice which is simply accept and then it will start installing the sonar lint in your intellij id so you have to wait until the integration is done completely so the requirement is the sonar cube 9.7 plus all right so once the sonar lint is downloaded as a plugin in the intellij id then you will see the apply button will be on and then you just apply and okay and after that it will ask you to restart the complete id so you need to restart you will see the pop up to restart your id so let me show you in the screenshot okay so like that it will ask you when you click on the restart id you will see the next pop up like that so you will see the next pop up restart the id so when you click on the restart your id will got restart in few seconds so after that you can see the sonar lint is integrated with your id as of now we have successfully configured the sonar lint so when your scanning is done you will see this window okay in this window you can see this sonar lint so we call this window as a sonar lint window and in this window you can see the current file tab we call as the current file tab so currently we have the test sonarcube.java this is the file name and it is having the four issues this is the rule and the location so as of now we, we do not have anything so how it will come so you need to select the first issue so when you click on the first issue you will see the under the rule tab this is the rule tab extended output should not be used directly to log when you select this one the issue you will get the descriptions and the complete details about this issue and this is the adaptability issue so if you go to this link so that link i will provide in the descriptions so clean code definitions so there are the clean code attributes there are the four attributes so if the adaptability you will find it will say the focus distance modular and the tested so we find the adaptability issue so if you want to know more you just go this link and you just understand what are the meaning of all these things if you go with this one consistency issue so consistency issue basically related to the formatted so formatted related issue is the consistency related issue conventional and identifiable so consistency related issues the formatted so it is saying the regular expressions format so that so getting the consistency issue uh this is the java rule as 120 rule and if you see the locations we don't have anything in the locations because if you found the same issue in the different locations then you will get the locations so let me go to the main class and there you will see the many issues so seven issues are there so if i click on this one it will give me the all the locations where it is going to applicable okay and what is the rule 
intensity issue so this is related to the boolean expressions the understanding is that you will get all the issues here and what is this issue and how you can provide the fix you will see the here into the editor editor window so this is my text editor window and if i come this file i can see the sonar lint notification is there so there are the seven issues connected mode is not active so what is that mode i will explain you later so you have I can see the seven issues so if I want to provide any issue so if you want to scan this one again so just click on this green button left side if you click on this green button and if you select an issue you will see the yellow blip indicator is there so you can see the tooltip we call as the tooltip and the tooltip come with the yellow blip click on this one you can see the sonar lint show the rule descriptions java as 106 sonar lint disable rule if you want to disable and if you want to enable you can see this rule follow the rules okay remove the braces from this one. so like that this is the perfect statement as of now so so like that you can identify the issue by the sonar link and you can provide the fix based on the fix is provided under the rule so now let's check the rule setting so how you can go to the rule settings you can see the settings is there under the setting and under the settings you just go to the tools and under this tool you can see the rules are there so we are working with the java so if you expand this one these all are the java related rules now you can disable or enable these rules by clicking on this one so if you uncheck this one this rule is not going to applicable and if you select this one you can see this is the rule okay so you can select and select the rules based on your requirement okay and this is for all the languages so you can select the rules over here and after that apply and okay